Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making a t-shirt. Um, I like this white t-shirt that I have. It's kind of hard to find the same one again. And uh, I made it out of merino wool, which is kind of my favorite material right now. It's kind of just like good for everything. It's antimicrobial, it's natural, it uh, keeps you warm in the cold, cool in the heat. So um, we're going to get into it. So basically what I did was I took my t-shirt that I liked already and um, I worked on making a copy out of it and I, I'm using some seamless paper that I use for photography and um, I, I'm going to cut out a uh, kind of a template for uh, for me to work on and, and save if I want to recreate the shirt more times. So I start with doing the front side and um, you have to be careful to fold it perfectly in half and right here I'm kind of tucking in the back part because the back is actually longer than the front with this uh, long line shirt. So you fold it in half and uh, I'm using my ruler guide here to kind of straighten things out. Along the sleeves, along the bottom. And here I'm using a tracing wheel which is kind of this like pegged wheel that came with this sewing kit that I have. I'm going along the collar and I'm trying to make some indentations on the paper that I can trace afterwards. You're supposed to apply a lot of pressure to this, but uh, I think I did it too hard. So I'm just going to start over. Tracing, tracing, tracing. And carefully, carefully doing the wheel. And then from the little dots, I'm able to kind of trace along where those indentations were. And now I'm doing the back side, which is pretty much the same thing. What surprised me is that the collar line is really different from the front and the back. All right, so now that I had everything cut out from where I traced it, I was able to get my fabric. So it's important to note that um, this is only half the shirt uh, for each panel. So when I'm cutting things, I'm going to be cutting it with the fabric folded in half. And uh, I have to make sure that the fold is kind of along uh, at the center of the shirt. And here I'm just kind of pinning it along that seam edge so that I don't lose track of where it needs to be. Oh yeah, and just to save people trouble in the comments, I got this shirt from H&M. Well, I think it comes from H&M. I got it from a shoot. Uh, where the wardrobe stylist picked out this shirt for me. And I love it. And every time I wear it, people ask me where it's from. Apparently it's from H&M. So I cut along the line. And then I think I realized that the scissors were just too much. So I went to the rotary cutter. All right, so now I think I've got my front panel, so uh, not bad. Now I'm doing the back panel, same way as before.
I originally wanted to do a white uh, or a more natural color fabric for this shirt, but um, the fabric I had ordered was a little too sheer. So you could see my nipples and my belly button through it. So I opted not to do that. Fortunately, I had this other fabric that I bought and uh, it, I was gonna use it for a scarf, but I think it works out pretty well for this. And now I'm trying to figure out where this sleeve is supposed to go in relation to my body and where the fold needs to be. Yep, okay, that's, this is how it's supposed to be. And now we've got a problem. Long about now, I bet that boy wishes he had a parachute. I was a little too liberal with all my other cuts, and now I don't have room to get a full fold of the other sleeve. I really need to start measuring things more. Fortunately, I figured it out. All I can say is, good thing for seam allowances. Now this is the collar piece. So I just took a pretty much a measurement of the collar all the way around and gave that like a two or three inch band. So the first thing I'm doing here is I'm sewing the top seams for the shoulders for both the front and the back panel. And for this whole project, I decided to do a zigzag stitch. Um, this merino wool is actually mixed with a little bit of, uh, what is it, Lyca, Lyrica, whatever it's called, the stretchy material. So it's got a little bit of a synthetic material in it that makes it really stretchy. So I wanted to kind of maintain that stretch by giving it a zigzag stitch along everything. And at the end, I switch to a straight stitch and back stitch it to lock it out. Now I'm working on getting the side panels lined up and stitched together. Now I'm working on getting the sides of the front and back panel stitched together. Again, doing a zigzag stitch. I started off with a straight stitch and back stitch to lock and then end the same way. I like it. It keeps a nice stretchiness to it.
One of the reasons why I like merino wool so much is it's great for travel and it's also just good for kind of everyday casual wear. But the thing that's cool is you don't have to wash it super often as long as you're not doing a ton of physical activity. It has a tendency not to collect smells. So even if you have stinky pits, it's not going to actually it itself start smelling, at least for a while. Also, it dries really, really fast. I mean, you can wash this thing in a sink, wring it out, and then leave it up to dry, and it should dry pretty quick. I've already got a couple dress shirts that I've bought uh, that are made out of merino wool, and I've traveled with them before, and it's really nice. And they're not itchy like traditional wool. I also actually have some socks that are made of merino wool. Uh, they're a little bit more expensive, but I find that they last so much longer. All right, so now it's the next day. I uh, had to take a little break here, but I got both the sleeves on, and now I'm working on doing the hem around the sleeves. Again, doing the same thing, zigzag stitch all the way along. Now, I've never actually made a shirt before. This is the first time I've ever made any garment, just kind of from scratch. One thing I didn't get to show on camera is late the night before I worked on doing the collar. I didn't know exactly how, and it, it kind of hurt my brain a little bit trying to figure out how it was supposed to go on, but it's not that hard. It's kind of just inside out, and then you have to press it. Overall, it, it worked out. If you want to find like a video, just like, just look up a video of like sewing in a collar to make sense because it, I would not be able to show it in a way that makes sense. Oh yeah, and you could probably tell that the color changed here. Uh, we've been having a lot of fires in Southern California and uh, the smoke just happened to roll in. So here I'm working on the seam along the bottom of the shirt. Again, doing the same thing with a zigzag. I've really been loving these long line shirts that's become popular the past couple years. I don't know, shirts have always been like a weird thing for me. I, I've never found t-shirts that I really loved and I usually opt for just button up shirts but these long line shirts I, I don't know it just kind of clicked in me I really enjoy the look for some reason And my bobbin finally ran out of thread. So I can show you a little bit about how this bobbin reloader works. My sewing machine's from the 70s, but I'll tell you, this thing is pretty ingenious with a lot of the things that it's able to do.
I also like that if I really wanted to, this whole thing is completely mechanical, so I could make it work just by cranking the wheel by hand and not plugging it in. Although I don't advise that because that would take forever. Little bobbins in his home. Pull the thread from the top out, run it a few times, and pull the thread from the bottom. And there we have it. So, um, yeah, I mean, I messed up a couple places, and it's not the prettiest shirt ever, but it's the first garment that I've ever made, and I'm super proud of it. And it's still nice and stretchy. I kind of like that it feels imperfect. You know, I mean, it, it looks custom. It, it doesn't look like anything you can buy on a shelf, that's for sure. And here you can see the collar. And again, that's not perfect either, but I really like it. All right, well, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more garments to be made.